This week on The Amazing Race, the teams left India and traveled to Europe with their first stop being in Germany. Now, here's the crazy thing. This is also the first episode of the season where they're doing self-driving, which is a whole other component to Made the game. It so interesting. Completely switched up the rankings right mm -hmm. from the from the jump, which I'm always kind of a fan of. The first thing they have to do is figure out the correct ferry to take um, to get from kind of like point A to point B, if you will. They are yeah. trying to go to this castle. So many people mess that up. One yeah. team messed that up so bad that it cost the game, the, them the game, yeah. but we'll get to that in a second. Well, they had to get on the ferry the... I don't remember what they were called. Do like you, the currency. Yeah, the I don't remember either. Old, yeah. Very old fashioned currency. Yes, yes. Which then leads to the first roadblock, which was kind of like they had to figure out the currency, get it to the guy, and then had to rappel down the side of a castle, which actually looked really cool, but I'd probably be terrified. It was so. a very big math problem. Yes. And I was sitting at my desk trying to actually do the math. I, I didn't get it. Though. You were trying. I saw this man <laughs> trying to do this, and it was actually quite funny. I was very frustrated. But here's the thing it had to be exact. And here's where I think being nice in this game goes along is a lot of them were smart and kind of teamed up mm -hmm. as an alliance, and they kind of figured it out, and then yeah. they would just just like kind of place out who got to go first based off who figured it yeah. out, which was so clever. Cause like, how oh, yeah. do you know that? You know? And then, like I said, you were pelled down the side of the castle, which I don't know, looks kind of fun. So the next stop on this, there's so many components to this episode, by the way, right. was this indoor carnival of sorts. So they had to dress up in this carnival attire and then ride this like huge, I don't even know what you would call it. Like tricycle type right here. Yeah, this like tricycle could... type thing. But what's funny is there really wasn't much to this. Like you literally just put on the costume, rode the yeah. tricycle through the room, and then you they were They made good. it seem like it was going to be harder than what it was, but then everybody got there like that. It was yeah. just a fun stop. It looked very fun. Like just a fun little room, and like I guess these are locals. So they all seemed really fun. Right. So I don't know. I'd kind of like to go enjoy this carnival A very myself, interesting so. mixture of... Uh sights and sounds Yes, there. but what I love too is you see everyone having fun with it, which mm -hmm. is not what you always see on the show, so it was kind of fun to see those personalities brought out. Um, the next part of this episode was a roadblock called Who's Feeling Locked In? So there was this huge bridge wall, if you will, of locks, and you had to find a specific lock that had the Amazing Race colors on it, yep. and then the code was like, well, they were in it was Cologne, the, Germany. It was the so oldest was the... Cologne from there, and yes. it was like, I think, 14, 11, something, or something like, something like with that. with a four. Yeah. yeah, which but, I mean, this it would seem like it'd be kind of easy, but yeah. you, when you do it there, you don't know what lock you're looking for. That's you know? the thing, because they got no hint, mm -hmm. but then they figured out it was the Amazing Grace one, which was kind of nice. Yeah. Also, I forget her name, but she helped out um, Rob and Corey, which was really sweet. Yeah. Because he was like really confused, and then she helped him out, and he figured it out super fast, which I just loved because we're yeah, it was very him. sweet. So, um, the next part of this is the detour, which is just for kicks or matter of taste. So the just for kick side is you have to kick these soccer ball. It's almost like what they call it, like it's like soccer darts. Soccer darts. Yeah. Darts. Yes. Yeah. So they had to kick. It up on the wall but the problem was you had to get exactly 66 to complete and you only had tour. four balls and you had four balls so which is pretty complicated if you like rob and cory cory eventually figured out how to yeah. maneuver his foot to aim i never would have had aim i, I would have just been there. kicking willy-nilly and i actually think that rob and cory were the only team to successfully do this half yeah tour. um the other team they left yeah they, they got frustrated and left and everybody else side. did the other one yes yeah, so the other one um was the mustard based one so basically what was it you got like a bunch of different like it types was like of German nine mustard different or? mustards you had to learn the how to pronounce the name correctly yes. and identify them by taste which would be really hard because i hate mustard yeah so. i'm not a mustard fan i wouldn't wanted to do this one yes now the pit stop was very interesting on this because um the whole episode, you're so unsure of what's going to happen. But then the rankings kind of almost end up similar again, which was interesting. So Greg mm -hmm. and John get first, which I believe they also got first on the last yes. episode. The last place team this time around was Andrea and Melina. And they were the biggest hot mess we have seen in a long time right. on Amazing Grace. They didn't even finish the leg. They got to the carnival part of it, and the day had been done. Mm -hmm. And Phil meets them there, and the carnival looks like yeah. dead, basically. It was like completely torn down. Um, yeah, what, what really got them was they couldn't find the ferry. Yeah. And then when they finally found the ferry, they went on the wrong one. Yep. And then they exchanged their coins for, with some random person mm -hmm. and got the wrong coins. They yes. got to the other, uh, the first detour, mm -hmm. or uh, and then they had to turn back around yeah. and go to find the right ferry. Really messed them up. It was very complicated. The thing, though, although it's sad to see a team like this who's been so fun to watch go, the thing I love is that it shows, like, how difficult the race really is. Like, at the end yeah. of the day, you are in another country where you don't know the language. You don't really know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You don't know where you're going. You don't know currency. Yep. Right? And so I think it's this very realistic piece of this very kind of, like, fun and dramatic show that we watch. So, I don't know. Very exciting. Um, here's the thing. My thoughts on the rest of the season. I'm guessing we're about halfway through or maybe even closer like, to the end than halfway. We only have seven teams, I think, left. Yeah. And I really genuinely have no idea who's going to win because it just keeps changing. Mm -hmm. We've seen Greg and John at the top, but also what was Steve and Anna Lee or whatever, the yeah. father-daughter, they were kind of at the top of the pack for a while. But also we've been rooting for Robin Corey the whole time, right. so I'd like to see them kind of come up. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's 
it, it been fluctuating so yes. much. Yes. If I'm throwing my opinion out there that nobody asked for, I would kind of like to see either Robin and Cassie go the best friends or Lena and Morgan or whatever the name is. Yeah, the I sisters. agree with both, both those, of those teams can go in my opinion. Lena and Morgan, they're fighting they're and so bickering, whiny. especially uh, in the car. I was like, oh, it's they're going to like get at each other's throats. Yeah, and Robin <laughs> and Cassie are just mean to all the other teams. But anyway, yeah. that's a story for another day. So as always, Amazing Race airing brand new episodes on Wednesdays on CBS or Paramount Plus. Do not miss it.